Money or love? Love. Hi, Drew. Happy morning. Happy Esther Sunday morning, everyone. And welcome back once again to Mythology Beauty Talks. And today we are joined. I'm, by the way, I'm Amir Amir from Mythology, your Mythology International Correspondent. Whew. And <laughs> I am joined today by a very our famous Mississology editor, Drew Francisco. <laughs> and also, hey, here. we are joined by a um, special guest panelist um, from Miss International Organization, as Miss International Director, Stephen Diaz. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello. Good morning. Yes. Happy Easter, everyone, and welcome back to Beauty Talks. And I'm here. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for this episode. Like, I'm excited now. Because yeah. uh, this girl that we will be interviewing, I've met her a few years back. And um, I'm sure our guests are already excited to meet her too. But before that, we'll go to our first segment. Go, Mir. Yeah, so we'll be having some passing news roundup for today okay now before we start yes that's right drew but before we make it to uh make it today <laughs> so excited anyway um let us make a quick summary of the happening in the world of pageants over the past days after three weeks the finals of miss echo international 2021 will take place tonight april 4 in egypt the all-important preliminary competition was held on April 2, where the winners of the special awards were named. Miss Philippines, Kelly Day, won the national costume competition. Miss Argentina, Barbara Cabrera was also named Miss Eco Best in Evening Gown. Dominican Republic's Diana Leonardo bagged Miss Eco Elegance title, while Thailand's Jutamas Mix City earned Miss Eco Top Model Award. Other winners of the special award were Miss Palestine, Lauren Amy, MC, as Miss Echo Fitness, Mayoko Hanawa from Japan as Miss Talent, and Miss Venezuela, Stefania Rodriguez Vivas as Best and Resorts Wear. Drew. Yes, the 24 year old Radinela Chuseva has been named Miss Universe Bulgaria 2020 and will represent the Balkan nation at the 69th Miss Universe pageant in May. Meanwhile, Kedis Del Tour was crowned Miss Belgium 2021 during the final held March 31. The 23-year-old hairdresser bested 32 other candidates for the title. The organization, however, has yet to make an announcement regarding her international pageant assignment. And that's all for this episode's pageant news run up. And now... Ooh. Yes, Drew. Yeah. And now it is time to finally introduce our very special guest for today. She is an audio engineer, a music producer, a social activist, and a pageant veteran. In 2018, she placed first runner-up in Miss Peru and earned the right to represent her country in Miss Supernational in Poland and finished third runner-up. And last year, she came back for another shot at the Miss Peru crown and finally bagged the title. Friends, let us all welcome 
Miss Universe Peru 2020, Janique Maceta. Hi, Janique. Hi, everyone. How are you? So nice to see you. And thank you so much for the invitation. Happy Easter, everyone. Yes, happy Easter. And uh, finally, finally, we have you on Mississology Beauty Talks. Um, I yeah. know that I know that the past weeks has had been uh, really tough for you and your family, but thank you, thank you for um, being here with us. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, well, this past weeks, this past month has been really hard for me and my family, but um, I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm trying my best to to just do everything I can and just to get ready for the competition. Even though I've been through a lot of pain, I, I every single day I pray that I can overcome this and just feel better. Yeah, and then I, I hope that this Easter Sunday um, will heal you and your family. And um, yeah. For you, so, yeah, on, yes, yes. Uh, Stephen actually just came came from church. <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm yeah, still wearing the church shirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't changed yet. Well, here church are closed, but I'm gonna see the the online streaming of the church <laughs> at least. Usually, I I go to church on Easter and on on Thursday, and Thursday and Easter are really important. So. This year has been really different for Peru and the whole world. So we have to yes. adapt. That's okay. true. Um, you know, we are very excited to get to know more, know, know you more about Janik, but um, we, and your journey to your crown. But before that, we would like to break us eyes first and play a little okay. game in this segment I called like This or right. Dark. Perfect. <laughs> we will ask you a lot of questions. Uh, we will ask you to pick between um, the two options or two words, two scenarios, and just explain us a little briefly uh, and whatever you want to say. Okay. okay. So are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I'll say Drew. Take it. <laughs> Coffee Go, or tea? <sighs> Hmm. Before I will answer that question with coffee, because you know, like I live in New York, and to run with a whole New York schedule, you need coffee every single morning. But right now that I am back in my country and I'm back to my my roots, and uh, it is I switch the coffee for an herbal tea. There's a, a drink that is the emoliente that I love, love, love. You should guys try it one time you can oh. combine mm. any. oh it's so good and <laughs> you know what it reminds me of my of my childhood days where i used to buy that on the corner before going to school i mm -hmm. used to get or quinoa and there's like it is like a like a medical um tea kind of and it's so good wow. Love that. okay now would you rather have facebook or instagram Hi, Instagram, Instagram. Before, probably I will say Facebook, but I don't want to feel old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm old. <laughs> I feel like Facebook right now is for for my mom or my aunt. My dad is usually posting on Facebook. I just use Facebook for memes. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Okay, next, city or countryside? I well right now I have the best of both worlds I work in Manhattan New York but I live in a, like a small area in New York that is really really close to the beach I'm one block away from it so I think in the future I will I will just try to keep it keep it that way I cannot choose one but <laughs> right, now, right this moment I will choose the city life Oh, city life. You're now yeah. in Peru, right? I am in Peru, yes, in okay. Lima. Okay. Next, Drew. Would you rather wear swimsuit or long gown? Ooh, I love both. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love a long gown competition. Evening oh. gown is my favorite, favorite part. With the music, 
music and all the 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 glitter, the glamour that he that he brings to the show is is my favorite. Oh wow! Yeah, most of the girls actually like Evening Gown. Next, they do? yes. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sneakers or high heels? Well, that's a that's an easy question. I <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sneaker head, believe it or not. Uh -huh. I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always on top of the new trends of the new upcoming um, the upcoming sneakers. I thought I have like a sneaker app on my on my phone that is wow. a Nike a sneaker app. And I mean, if someone from Nike is watching me, please sponsor me because I spend more <laughs> on sneakers than I do on makeup. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, Next that's year. investment. That's investment. Yes, yeah, actually, be able to fly or turn invisible. Oh, oh, to fly! I would love to fly. Every time I am on the on a plane, I take probably a, I don't know, like thirty to forty pictures of the clouds. I I just <laughs> love the sky so much, and I was I wanted to just fly and visit my family because right now I'm in Lima, but my family lives in, in the US. So I'm all by myself here and mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. So if I have that ability, I will be able to just fly <laughs> and see them for a weekend and come back. Yeah. Okay. Next, Drew, would you rather be in a zombie outbreak or in alien invasion? <laughs> That's the question. I've been waiting my whole Life. <laughs> I watch so many zombie apocalypse um, TV shows and movies and video games. So it's like I am ready. I'm I'm ready for a zombie apocalypse and outbreak. I think I will be really really good at surviving. <laughs> I have I have to say though, you're the first one to answer zombie outbreak. Really? Oh. <laughs> yes. Goodness. <laughs> well, actually, I think I agree with you, Janik. You know, I would rather be in a, in a zombie outbreak as well because I think I have known a lot of strategies to survive that one compared with an <laughs> alien. Yes. So you don't you even know what powers them. do they have, right? <laughs> yeah, you can get a bunker underground. You can get your food gather. You can get everything, like just your little bunker and just wait for it to happen. And well, of course, with a with a Walking Dead show, we knew how yes. to fight them. <laughs> Just look for the higher ground. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, going Just back. Keep moving constantly. <laughs> okay. Would you rather lose all your old memories or never be able to make new ones? I. I will rather. Hi, that's a tough question. <laughs> I would like to lose all my old memories because that's, I don't know, I, I just treasure so many of them in my heart, my childhood, um, my all the times that I spend with, with my loved ones, with my grandpa especially, and mm. I will never I get rid of that. Never, never. Okay. And would you rather have more time or more money. <laughs> <laughs> more time, but um, it is it is hard because you know what? I wanted to have time, but not more time. I want to have the ability to pause time. Then you have like you remember those moments that you just want to freeze and stay yeah. there forever. You have this mo those moments in your life. So if we're able to pause it and enjoy them, that will be amazing. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes, I, I agree. agree. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Drew, would you rather be criticized or be ignored? None of them. Why we have to be mean with each other? <laughs> 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 Everyone is and 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 every single opinion is validated we have to start just like hearing each other out and loving each other okay i understand drew i just i need to add one would you Go rather here. have uh romance or crown oh <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> well 
This is well. This is now breaking news, but I I have both right now. I oh, am wow. in a five year relationship, oh. and well, I'm Thank like. You for being honest. Hmm. Thank you for being honest. Yes. So I wouldn't I I wouldn't choose one because I think both of them are needed. Uh, mm. Oh my! I'm so jealous what a, right now. What what a lucky <laughs> what a lucky girl. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> one day, one day you will understand me. <laughs> yes, that was fun. That was fun, Jenny. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you for gamely that was a... answering question, answering that. Thank you so much for gamely answering all of those. Drew. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, uh, we'd like to shift gears and talk more about your pageant journey and your journey okay. to the crown. So. Right now, people know you as Miss Universe Peru, but who was Janique before she joined Beauty Pageants? Well, Janique, well, I'm still me, of course. I haven't, it's not like I, I changed my, myself, but um, I used to work, I still work so hard for providing to my family. Uh, before I started pageantry, I used to just save up money and find different jobs around New York in order to send back some money and to be able to save something. So whenever I'm traveling to Peru, I can help my mom out. And that's been pretty much uh, what is being constant in my life through the years. I, I just work a lot and I, I just like helping my family all the time. Also, um, well, I work as an assistant audio engineer, so I'm used to being behind the productions. I'm never yeah. used to being on the camera or in the stage. I am the one probably directing kind of everything. So it is, um, it's such a contrast from my life, from being a beauty yeah. queen and then going back to work. Yeah, so you mentioned that you're used to being just behind the camera. So where did, where did the, the idea of joining beauty pageants come from? The beauty pageant, wow. It started off as a curiosity. I was curious mm -hmm. to see what was going on in the beauty pageant girl world. And if I wanna, I have to be honest, I saw like a casting call on Facebook and I just decided to apply and I walk into the into the Miss Peru office. I remember I didn't know anything about pageantry. And I remember I was telling my mom, Mom, I don't know what to wear, so I'm just gonna wear your dress and your heels and just your <laughs> makeup <laughs> and this bag. <laughs> and I just dress up as my mom and I show up to the <laughs> casting call and that I was selected for being part of the Miss Peru 2016. And every presentation, I'm sorry, mom, if you're watching this, <laughs> I used to take my mom's dresses every time. Can you imagine that one time I took my mom's wedding dress to uh, like an old white interview? <laughs> I didn't have any I, most of my, oh, my clothes were baggy or I wear sweatpants and sneakers. So I, I just took my mom's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you to your mom's clothes. We got yes. You know, we have we have Janik now. So, Jerome, so you thank you. Yes. Mom is so sexy. Now, now yes. she, now she, uh, kind of gets my my clothes. Now we share it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have more things to share with her. Yes. That's good. Yep. And now, uh, being a beauty queen, Janik has now put your life on the spot spotlight so but could you tell us something that most people still do not know about you well i think that they well what you can see in social media is probably like 10 percent of my life i i love to enjoy the little things in life and my life is pretty simple to be honest mm -hmm. It is, um, I, I love to enjoy my times outdoors. I love walking my cat to the beach. I love spending time with my, my animals. I like to go surfing. And I just love enjoying nature and just stopping and just stare at the, at the clouds. And that's probably something that, that people don't know about me. Probably they think that that this life is all about like the glamour and everything but it's also about taking those moments to enjoy the mm -hmm. ride yeah 
That was nice to know. But now we will talk about your fir very first international pageant experience, okay. where I first met you. Oh, yes. so, this, this was this was Miss Tourism World 2017-18 in Malaysia, where you ended up as the first runner-up. So can you tell us what were your fondest memories of uh, your very first international pageant experience? Oh, that was my first international pageant. And it was a great training as well. I know that you're not supposed to train on a pageant that you're going to <laughs> But I didn't have, like I mentioned, I didn't, I didn't have any experience. I in the Miss Peru 2016, I didn't get the training to to go to an international pageant because I I was, um, I was I don't know I was it was my first year of competing. So the good thing, and I was lucky enough that the competition lasted for a month. So we have this amazing Venezuelan coaches that they taught us how to walk, how to pose. I remember I was I was asking my Venezuelan sister on that pageant to show me how to do turns because I didn't know how to do turns. I also learned about the the heels that you that can there was competition heels in there. So the whole pageant was like a learning experience for me, but an actual learning experience because I knew nothing about it. I, yeah. I, you, you, yeah, you mentioned that you know nothing when you went to Mr. Rism and yes. Rism World, but, but you actually finished first runner up. So That's great. <laughs> what, was, what was your reaction back then? Because that was a crazy night. I still remember that night. And Can then you, you ended up as the first runner up. We have to dance all the time. We have, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever memorized so many dances in a show. And what I what I knew about this pan or, or what I prepared myself for, I was, uh, I watched some YouTube channels. I learned how to do my hair as well, my makeup. I was working also on my speaking skills. So I think I did like a really good interview maybe, mm -hmm. but the interview was also, I don't know. Because we have to walk on a bikini and we have to do the interview on a bikini. Can, do you remember that? Uh, no. Um, no? I, I, I arrived, I That's remember a I arrived, I arrived uh, the, a day before the final. So the first time I met all of you was during the rehearsal. So you the were the first time I saw you. Mesosology person I knew. Well, then I, I met Paui and Bontan. I'm sending you kisses and hugs because I miss them so much and yes. I remember you I remember you I was with my was with, with my rehearsal clothes and I was yes. with my hair full like like I wear, usually wear it as a bun yes so I the, what I really remember the most about Jenny was uh, the first time I talked to her I told her you know you should go to Miss Universe and then she just laughed like really laughed like ah <laughs> 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 so, so that that was the first time that was the first the first time I talked to you and look at you now just a few months just a month away from finally going to Miss Universal. Oh my god. So you were probably you were probably the one of the first persons that told me that. You were one of the first person that believed that I could I could I could be on the Miss Universe stage. That's yeah, huge. That Thank you for that. Um, and uh, thank you for pursuing your dream. Oh, this, so this, sweet. This now, now, now we have Janique going to Miss Universe. But no. at, I have a question. At that point, did, did you believe that you're actually going to go to Miss Universe someday? I didn't. I didn't. Well, of course, if I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, no, what are you talking about? I was just focused on, on the mysterism. But then after that whole experience to be able to to say peru in front of the world and the, and to represent my beautiful country it was it was a feeling that i never experienced before and yes. after that competition i was like i was sure like after that final i was sure i have to work in able uh, for me to be able to to run again for for a pageant and just try as many times as I can till I'm finally ready. Yes. So a year after that, 
you came back to Miss Peru and you finished first runner up. And then you were sent to Miss International where you finished third runner up. And I have to say, I mentioned this earlier before the show, that was the time that a lot of fans actually got to notice you. So what what were the lessons that you learned in Miss International and how different was it competing in a major pageant? Well, there's a big difference. <laughs> oh my God, those pictures. Thank you, Bong, for the pictures. Thank you, Bong. <laughs> I love you. I learned that, um, well, first, I that my first lesson was came from from Valeria, the Miss Supernational, the the reigning Miss Supernational from that year. She she has this glow on her when she talks. She's so real. She's always enjoying every moment. And what I realized in the Miss Supernational is that that with her as an example is that you have to be you and you have to enjoy the whole experience. Um, I was able to to watch her handling with such grace and I just learned so much from her and right now we are friends even after the the competition yes. she was one of the of the persons that was talking to me while I was competing in the Miss Peru and giving me some tips and things that that she can help me I'm not going to tell you what <laughs> but <laughs> she helped me a lot too and I love you yeah. Valeria <laughs> yeah, shout out to Valeria. Hello, Valeria. If you're Valeria, watching. She was here before, right? I saw yes, yes. Yes, so, so go on here for the next Okay. Time. Now, I just want to know um, what inspired you to join Miss Peru again, especially now we are in the middle of pandemic. Hi. Well, I I always have a dream and was to have my own nonprofit. Even if I wasn't running for Miss Peru, I was gonna come to Peru to set it up because you know what? The number of, of, of violent, of child abuse in, in my country are racing every single day. And it is it worries me to the core that even on the pandemic, it weren't going down that the authorities weren't doing anything to just step in and start talking about it and, and start protecting these children. So I decided I, I have to do something for them. And I couldn't just be in New York um, just following, following my, my dreams and working there when my country needed me, when I have to work for it. And that's why, and that's my, my motivation every single day, every single day I, I picture myself um, and whenever I feel down, I just remember that every two hours a child is sexually abused in Peru. That's a reality and it hurts me. But that gives me the strength that I need to keep on going and to keep on pushing and to start making the connections needed and start this talk with the government as well. Okay. Now, during the time when you joined Miss Peru, since you're a pageant veteran, did you did it ever cross to your <laughs> mind <laughs> that... Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> did, did it ever cross I'm going to... <laughs> no, Jimmy, that, that, that is a bad <laughs> shock armor that you should wear. That way. <laughs> if, if you're called a pageant veteran by pageant fans, that's an honor that you should wear because yes, that means they okay. have big trust on you. Oh my God. <laughs> I spent, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like that. Actually, Miss Universe Beauty Pageant has, in recent years, they have like a history of crowning pageant veterans. So the yes. odds are actually in your favor. Favor. Oh my God! If you are a pageant veteran, so Amzulini is a pageant so veteran. Funny. She joined Miss South Africa twice or thrice. Twice. I mean, tw twice. I think twice. Yeah. Patriona, yeah. for sure. I'm sure you know about her history. She's a pageant veteran herself. Patriona. Demi. Demi also joined Miss South Africa like twice. Yeah, they, they oh. did. Pia wow. joined. Trice. Yeah, be uh, three times in a row. Yeah. That's wow. The odds, the odds are. The odds actually are in your favor, you know. 
because of the experience, the experience, experience, you know, it adds up. The confidence is there actually. I know. It, not only that, even in the top five, if you look at last uh, 2019, the top five, I think three out of five of them were pageant veterans because Miss Puerto Rico, Madison herself, was a pageant veteran herself. And so was uh, Pawin Suda of Thailand. She was also a pageant veteran herself. Yes. Yeah. So, so the, the odds are on your favor. If someone tells you if you're a pageant veteran. <laughs> <laughs> Old. <laughs> But no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it means much coming from you guys. I know that that you are, well, you're the experts here. <laughs> anyway, Jenny, so um, when you joined Miss Spiro, did it ever cross to your mind that you will be winning the top title? Which time? <laughs> the, 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 third the, time the third time, the third time. The first time, 2016. No, never. <laughs> the second time. The second time was a maybe. It was like, hmm. But Kaleen was also so strong. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think she's a veteran too. Huh? She's a veteran. She's a veteran too. No, Kaleen, she's such a sweetheart. And she did such a good job in the Miss Universe stage. I was so proud of her because I, I, we were. I mean, it was the same night, but we have probably the same amount of, of time to get ready for the Miss Universe. Yes. And 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 I'm gonna confess this to you: we have trainings together, and mm -hmm. I saw how much she she worked on her preparation and how much she I don't know she she just was nonstop all day. So I kind of have like a glimpse of what her life was. And I love her so much. She's such a kind soul. She just makes us make us all proud. Okay. And um, when you joined Miss Universe Peru, did it ever cross your mind that you will be winning the Miss Universe Peru? The third time. The third time? <sighs> I left everything in God's hands. Everything. I was like... I knew I I I did my best on that time and I was I didn't I didn't want to be like oh yeah I'm going to win this but at the same time I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to win because you know competition when you, you never know what's going to happen so and of course coming from three times of running for it <laughs> I already have a deception before <laughs> So I was just like enjoying the, the moment and just doing my best, doing the best that I could. Okay. Now, Yannick, you know, every beauty queen, the winning moment is something that a beauty queen like you will always remember for the rest of their lives. Yes. Can you please take us back to the moment when you were crowned as Miss Universe Peru? What oh, was my God. oh, that's Colleen. I love her. Ooh, was I, I you know what? I wish <laughs> I rehearsed that that moment in my head. <laughs> <laughs> because when I see the videos back in the uh, in in that moment, I don't know why I clapped like like a little <laughs> seal, like a baby seal. And I'm like, why do you even do that? <laughs> and I, like, I was like. I didn't know what how to react. It was like a roller coaster of emotions. I I remember I started just I smiled and then I was crying and then I was looking at Kelly and I was like, what's going on? Uh, it was it was just a lot. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. And what what went through my mind was my family, the people that support me, and I was so so thankful to god and i just i in that moment i just look up and i was just grateful grateful for for that opportunity that he was giving me okay now when you won miss universe Peru, um i mean how was your life so far being miss universe Peru? what was has been your you know your most memorable experience as miss universe Peru? well it has been what I, I was crowned at the end of November, like December, January, February, March, 
April, five almost five months. Well, four months and a half. <laughs> Since I was, I, I won the competition and I felt like I've been, I've been raining like a year probably because I did so much. But um, also it's going to be the shortest ring of all of the history of Peruvian <laughs> <being> queens. <laughs> <laughs> but so far I've been loving every single moment of it. I was able to to travel around my around my beautiful Peru. I I last week I was just in it was I was in Arequipa and that is kind of like the, it's on the like highlands of Peru. Then I went to Puno that is a really high altitude and I got to visit the Titicaca Lake and visit the island of the Uros and that island is just is that there are little floating islands on the lake they're so beautiful the sky is so beautiful and when you get there it's just magical I got to meet I have this right here they give me this as a like a souvenir and you know what? They keep their traditions, and wow. they do this wow. on their That's on nice. their with their own hands. They teach even little girls to do this. These are the textiles, and they just give you like a piece of their story. Because right here, you have the I don't know if you can see it. You have the, yeah. the little floating islands. Here, you have the love story between the mom and the dad. Yes. Here you have this. This is my favorite one because this is the mom, the baby that I met. Oh, and it's the a baby. Little girl, this little girl, her name is Reina. And, mm. and she was so kind and so beautiful as well. I remember that she told me, when I grow up, I want to be like you. And I was like, no, I want to be like you when I was little. Because she was so strong and she was so i don't know the way that she saw life was so beautiful and this is a this is what i what i got from there it was a gift and i get to keep them with me all the time so mm -hmm. i got to visit that place i went to the jungle as well and mm -hmm. i was flying from Peru has three regions we have the coast we have the the highlands and we have the jungle so it's like you can go, it is an hour away from Lima with a plane and you can visit different different places in Peru just like this. <laughs> and they're so beautiful. Oh, this was nice. Now yeah. we'll talk, Drew? Okay, now I will be talking yeah, go about here. regarding your advocacy because I believe okay. you have a lot of advocacy works. Now you've been doing a lot of charity work since before you became Miss Universe Peru. And I've learned that you are a part of nonprofit organization named Little Heroes Peru that helps children who have been victims of sexual violence. Can you tell us more about this? Yes, of course. I'm an advocate for sexually abused children. I'm currently working on enforcing the law 3920 that makes it mandatory for authorities to use the Hessel chambers when it comes to child abuse reports investigation. Do you guys know what is a Hessel chamber? Hessel chamber? Yeah, so I can explain a little bit to you. Yeah, no, no, no. Yes, no, no, no. Well, a, a Hessel chamber, it is an investigation tool and it is mm. a place where, where a child can say their testimony surrounded by specialized staff that are going to gather this information in order to, to avoid the re-victimization and start the healing process. And that's going to be used as an evidence for the, mm -hmm. for the, for the report, for the, for the, for the whenever, case. For the case. So in Peru, a Hessel chamber is really expensive. Usually it costs like about 30,000 soles just to build it, no, 30,000 um, dollars just to build it. And mm -hmm. you have to cover the, also the, the staff, the staff salaries because they're specialized people. And in Peru, we are lack of resources. So 
Little Heroes is working on building the bridges between private entities and local government in order to raise funds to provide legal and psychological help for these little children and families that cannot afford such costs. I believe that every child should be raised, should be protected and should be feel safe and have the opportunity to just embrace life again. I can proudly say that I'm I'm a founder. I'm the founder of Little Heroes Peru. It was my my dream all this time, and it's just my my baby. It's a nonprofit. It's a registered nonprofit. So I'm working. So, so right now, who are among your donor donors and sponsors for the Little Heroes? Mostly private sectors, or the, yes. has so, okay. So mostly private sectors, what, what we are doing is building bridges between those two, the private and the, and the local governments. And it is such a hard job because we're trying to fix a broken system. I, will, I had the opportunity when I went to Arequipa uh, to visit this, it was a, a nonprofit that was called Casa Verde. Casa Verde gives- Greenhouse. Yeah, greenhouse, it gives the, the support that they need for the, the children, the legal, the psychological, the therapy he provides. They are what Little Heroes aim to do. So this type of connections and working on them, enforcing the laws, it's not only like a short-term um, charity work or a short-term um, band-aid, right, that we can just fix the problem like this. It is... It takes time and mm. it takes a lot of a, a lot of conversations with the government trying to see what the what are the laws what are the emptiness on the legal system that we can attack and and grab it and see like okay this is failing the kids this is failing the families so it's not only about just we need sponsors. So if you know anyone that wants to work with us, we need sponsors. We also need people that are professionals and and I am calling for, this is an open call for anyone that wants to work with me. Please reach me out via DM. We need psychologists, we need legal a legal team because there's so many families that needs the help. There's so many cases. Wow. Yeah. So what you're just doing right now, Janik, is actually one of the reasons, one proof that we can actually tell to the whole world why pageants, beauty pageants, are still very relevant in this age. Because you have the influence and you have the platform to actually help those who are in need. And to those who are and still doesn't get it or don't get it, <laughs> rewind <laughs> this later on and listen once again to Janik. <laughs> <laughs> And understand exactly what you're missing. If you still miss the point, then I don't know what else. I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to actually talk to the people about this. This is, this is what everything is all about. This mm -hmm. is why I'm here. It is just to, to raise awareness, to, know, to let people know and to ask for help as well because mm -hmm. We need more hands. We need more hands to get involved. And thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sociology, for having me, for giving me this opportunity to just talk about what I am an advocate for. Yeah, it's, it's also our pleasure, Jenny. No. Okay. It's now, aside from uh, you know helping children who have been a victim of sexual violence, what other causes would you like to advocate for and why? any cause that need needs my help i am uh i certif i am certified to work with infant and toddlers in the city i head for association and i got certified not only because i was helping them because i knew that to be able to help them from a deeper level i have to know what was going on with their minds the cdi head start association it is a place that works with vulnerable families and children mm -hmm. that most of the time they live in projects and they come from uh from families that uh they are just surrounded by by this this things that cannot probably help the kid develop Properly, so CDI Head Start Association targets their education, 
We focus on providing the help that the family needs, a follow-up as well, and to provide any, anything that the, the child needs. I was able to work also with kids with autism, with, with kids with Down syndrome as well. I call them my special, my special children because they, I mean, they're just so kind and so such beautiful souls. So whenever I decided I have to certify myself to work with children, it was because I knew that I could help them more. And I believe that, that there's power in knowledge, there's power in education as well. So I think that, and I will encourage everyone that if, if you want to help some, some cause, not only we have to, to talk about the, the charity culture, that just giving donations, we have to get more involved and go deeper than that. We have to start May finding ways that we can donate as well. We can just uh, friend, like a, a give a, a child a meal for what one dollar. So if we get more involved in this just by giving these charities what they actually need. We will see the change happening. And if we're able to just volunteer our time, volunteer our job, and get get um, educated on how we can help more, I will totally encourage everyone to do that. Wow, we good luck. All things go in our communities. Good luck, Janik. I hope you continue that even after joining Miss Universe or even after winning Miss Universe. I hope you oh, continue that. Well, I, I, started, I started up before I even was a, a beauty queen. When I, everything I started off when I was what? 14, 13 years old. That was the first, the first place, the first place that I that I went was this school that was in the middle of, of kind of, I don't know, like nowhere. But this school has has helped so many families in the community, and they were so advanced. Also, by that time, I'm talking about 2006, 2007. That was my first, my first job as. A, as a volunteer and I continue doing it through time. So of course, whenever I am done with being with my ring, I'm, I'm gonna continue working, working on every single thing that, that, that I, could, I could do, that I could help. Oh, well, God bless you. <laughs> now, Drew, are you still there, Drew? I think Drew is, um, he's a problem he's with a, right now. Well, but I can ask you, your Miss Universe preparation now. Yeah, we're now. Miss uh, Universe now. It's really Miss Universe preparation. I'll try to fill up for Drew's role. Yes, Amir. please step in. <laughs> okay. You know, I know there are a lot of fans right now at this point in time. I know that you are in massive, crazy preparation for the Miss Universe beauty pageant. What has been? <laughs> month away from it <laughs> and, and i know a lot of fans are curious about the biggest challenges that you have been facing so far while preparing for the miss universe competition yeah so, well it's, it's yeah. definitely been a challenge because in peru the the pandemic hit us really hard right now mm -hmm. we're currently on lockdown full lockdown yeah. so We've been back and forward lockdown. We've been back and forward with curfews as well. So, and whenever I have the opportunity, whenever the country was open again, I was I was doing my duty as as the Miss Peru. I was traveling around the country to make the connections needed for little heroes, and it was kind of like a like a juggling right between between the preparation and the job that I want to do because every single queen has uh we want to leave a legacy in our country and we work and i and I, I wish that you can see the work from inside because it's not only what you can see in social media or in videos it goes far deeper and it's uh like years of preparation and work and being able to give back to your community so my preparation has been uh it has been crazy i try i have to adapt to to many well new ways of learning i have my zoom trainings i whenever the country was open back again i have my catwalk my 
my um, my speaking skills also i i've been i've been practicing that and it's been just a lot <laughs> i just wish that you guys can see every single thing because it is it's been it's been like a like a hard job but right now we're yeah. we almost have everything ready for the miss universe i just have to pack my bags and go wow. <laughs> Good yeah, you know, pack your bag. You'll, you'll for sure. You'll be packing what the biggest, uh, the bulk of your of your um, luggage. luggage would be on your national costume. So without without totally revealing what it is, can you? Yeah, just give us an idea of how your national costume is gonna be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't feel much revelation at all. Yeah, you know, we know that Peru what? always has like one of the best national costumes every yeah. year. I'm always, excited. I'm always excited whenever I it's it's you know national costume presentation. I'm always excited for Peru because I believe Peru produces the very best national. Really? Yeah. Once once it's letter P, just prepare for everyone because we have Panama, we have Paraguay, Peru. Then we have Peru, <laughs> Philippines, we have Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. All these people like the I don't know how many how many feathers, how many birds died for the feathers that they. <laughs> oh, no 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 birds here. Yeah. Cruelty free. <laughs> That's true. Yes. <laughs> For such thing, <laughs> I'll probably cry if they told me that. No, 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 no. Well, I'm sure um, that you have uh, the Inca culture as well. So you know, you don't need feathers for those. There's so many ideas. You know, like Peru, we have so many different uh, traditions. We have so many different colors. So for me, it was really hard to pick one mm -hmm. i have like a like a like multiple i have like four or five and we keep on like just cutting to the one or just adapting the idea right now i was in the i was in the jungle last week and i was able to meet with my national custom designer his name is beto pinedo i love him he's such a sweetheart and you know that whenever i communicate with him i have to use sign language and he has a uh, he ha he always with his with his cousin that helps him communicate and although we have that we were able to connect and he will understand what i was looking for and right now he's working on that design he's putting his heart and soul to it and i i'm pretty sure you're going your guys are going to be amazed by it all right, looking forward for that. Looking forward. It's okay, but honestly, Yannick, you know, honestly, every time, you know, let our P, as Stephen mentioned, you guys produce incredible national costumes. <laughs> yes, yes. Sometimes you, you don't which know one, which one is which. Which one is your favorite? Oh. Um, um, I, I'm yes, on the pink group. Hmm? Favorite Are national costume from Peru. What? Every time Peru goes out <gasps> in the national competition, I love the national costume. Yeah, I love, I love I love that it's so different as well. That is like we we like to go with different styles every year. Who's who is that Miss Peru who wore a national costume that looks like Virgin Mary or something? Oh, Laura Spoya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I still remember. <laughs> I just don't know which, I could not recall which year, but I do remember there was one Miss Peru. Yeah. But I, I yeah. always I always remember. I love, uh, I love this. I, I'm not sure. Oh, I love that one too. That's Nicole Faberon, right? Yeah, Nicole, Nicole Faberon. Yeah, yeah. That I blue, my, mm, so, so beautiful. And the gold. So good. I love yeah, it. I love her national costume because she was like in the top 20, right? Top 15. 15, 15 that time, top 15. So I love mm. her national costume so much. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes, yeah, beautiful. And okay. Drew is it's back. It's hard to pick one. It's so hard. I'm telling you guys, you come here and there's so many, uh, even like we have different type of dances we have different type of music we we have like uh originary and in, indigenous 
places as well that they keep their 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 clothes so you can get inspired everywhere everywhere you go you get inspired and for me that i'm i'm an artist and i love to create as well it was it was such a tough decision such a tough decision because i for me i will have like 10 different costumes and i will wear it every single day. <laughs> <laughs> If for ten times, I will wear a difference. <laughs> for every region, probably three. I will have three different type of mm -hmm. of national costume for every region. So one, one thing for sure, Janik, it's very colorful. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay. This. <laughs> I will be wearing this in my head like this. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Before we park uh, the, uh, the, the discussion about your preparation, in a scale of one as the lowest to 10 the highest, how prepared are you for this? Okay. 10. <laughs> how do you uh, believe? <laughs> I will let you guys judge. 11. <laughs> She, she, she can't wait if she could if she could fly today and go to Florida right right away she would do that yes, <laughs> to be honest, yes I will I'll go like okay let's do this <laughs> yeah yeah be, uh, before we proceed to the next uh, segment uh, we have a question from your super sister Eva Louise Wilson Miss New Zealand and she would like to know how will you use your time in Supra to help you in Miss Universe Oh, my time in Supranational, such a good memories I have from there. But you know what? The unique, well, Miss Supranational was in 2019, and it's been two years already. A lot can happen in two years. And I grew, I grew as a, as a person. I have a new perspective of life. I feel like like this pandemic also laws and and having to to deal with all the situation just give me a new a new way of embracing life again so in these two years of course a lot can happen i am lucky enough that a lot of people were able to help me in this journey because it's i didn't know that that there were so many people that were willing to to give them their professional advice and they reach out to me and then right now they're part of my team. So I am lucky enough that I have people on on that way, on, on these two years that that were supporting me and they have my back and and those are the ones that that keeps keep keeps on keep, like they keep on pushing me to do my best and they're just giving me all the tools that I need that I didn't have before. Mm -hmm. So now we move forward to one of the awaited segments in Beauty Talks, which is called Ask the Queen. So over the past week, we uh, asked the fans to send in some of the questions that they really want to ask you. And we have some really good questions here. So okay. are you ready to answer the fans' questions? Yes, of course. Okay, so the first yes, question is in Spanish, but I have a translation here. So it's from Fab Fabri 10 p.m. Uh, what would you say to those people who doubt their inner strength and do not dare fight for their dreams? I've been there. I've been there. I know exactly, exactly how you feel when, when you start doubting when you are scared of stepping out of that comfort zone but every single effort that you do and every single dream that you have is it means that you have to work for it it means that you have to pass through this adversity in order to see the light and what i would like to tell them is that don't lose hope that they are capable that they can they can achieve anything anything that they want in life if they just put enough work to it 
I'm a dreamer and I I have experienced firsthand how it is the the life of they living in a different country, seeking for a, a better future. And it's all worth it. Everything everything is worth it after a time. I just will tell them to not never stop believing in themselves and just to pray, pray and and have faith that everything is going to be better in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next question is from Jerskun28. How do you handle negativity? Well, I'm up, um, <laughs> I just mentioned it. I pray. I pray a lot. And I understand also that negativity comes from a place of pain, that negativity and, and hate comes from a roaring soul that is just screaming love. So that's what I try to understand every time. And I just like to disconnect myself a little bit, pray and ask God to give me the, the strength that I need to overcome it. Okay, and the last question from defense is from James Carl, 21. If you were given a chance to speak in the UN, what is the major problem in Peru that you would want to speak about and why? Sexual violence to children. Of course. <laughs> of course. That would be the number one problem. And I, if I get to the chance to speak in the UN nations, I will definitely ask for more funds. I will tell them that we need the help as much help as we can and we need the implementation of the Hessel Chambers. We need that country to have more. Do you know that in Peru, the Hessel Chambers, there are only like two of them and probably just one is working. Every region, every city, major city just have one or two. So every single kid, they have to wait, what, like three, four, six months in order to, to get an appointment, it is just, we cannot let the kids waiting. We cannot let the families waiting as well. We, we need more people to step in and, and just get involved. So if I wanna, I have to ask something in the UN and I have to speak about it, I will, I will beg them to start interfering with the private session, the private sectors and the local government in order to implement more hassle chambers in Peru. Okay, so we'll give you a little time to breathe because the next segment is going to be tougher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> warm up. It is the Q&A challenge. So in this segment, we will assume that you're already part of the Miss Universe Finals. Oh, Final my goodness. Q so we have 10 questions for you. And uh, please give us a number from 1 to 10, and we will give you the corresponding question. Yeah, okay. Are you ready? 20 seconds. Are you ready, Jenny? Yes, I'm ready. OK, so Jenny, please give us the first imagine, number. Uh, Imaginary ball there, and you have to pick up on your number. Okay. Yeah, you have to. You have to visualize that you're already in the final Q and A, and you have to answer these questions in twenty seconds. Okay. <laughs> All right. Number four. Okay. Number four. Number four. I cannot find number four. Wait. <laughs> okay, number four here. This is a, a fun question. What makes you blush? <laughs> oh my God. Whenever I, I make fun of myself, I laugh a lot. And every time I laugh, it's like I have a laugh attack. So I, this is, it is like a, like a, I don't know. It's a characteristic of mine that when we are all serious, then out of the sudden I have a laugh attack and I just, I start dying <laughs> laughing and I can't stop. And whenever I can't stop, I start blushing and I just become a little tiny tomato. And it's so embarrassing, but that's what, that's what makes, me, makes me blush, that I cannot stop laughing. <laughs> I, I, am a, I am a witness to you laughing because that was your reaction. Yes, oh my before. God. Love. <laughs> but you, should, you should go to Miss Universe. <laughs> okay. 
second second number. Um, taka 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 dum. Number six. Okay, number six. Why is it important for men and women to work together in tackling sexual harassment? Well, men and women, they need to start working together in, on, in order to understand each other, in order to find solutions. It is not only for tackling sexual harassment, it's only to, just to tackle every single problem that we have in the world. We have to be united as one. We have to start working together, finding solutions, and just um, decide what is the best way that we can do in order to to create a bigger impact in the world together as one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Seconds. Third. Third question. Third number. Pick a number again. Okay. Sorry, I have to sound the sound effects. <laughs> 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 the sound effects. I don't know why. Does it it's sound like that? <laughs> okay. Now, now I don't want to do it. I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah, that what makes you blush. <laughs> you see, I, I laugh. All right, number nine. Okay, number nine. Question number nine is the traditional image of a beauty queen isn't in line with having tattoos, with candidates usually covering their tattoos with makeup. Thus, having a tattoo deem one unworthy to be a title holder. Well, we should all be encouraging to promote inclusivity, acceptance, respect, and love. That is the, those are the things that we need in order to thrive in society. We have to accept our uniqueness, embrace it, and start seeing each other as just beautiful individuals. It doesn't matter how they look, the way they dress. Beauty runs far deeper than what eyes can see. And I'm a true believer of that. And that's what I like to, to teach more people. And we have to start changing our perspective and worry more about what a person how a person is on the inside. I love that answer. <laughs> you have now the crown. No. <laughs> you know. <laughs> making her blush. <laughs> making me blush. And then I start laughing. <laughs> and I have to stop the broadcast because I cannot stop laughing. <laughs> okay, I think Drew is um, frozen. Frozen again. Okay. Maybe we can pick number for you because, uh, yeah, you can pick a number now. Oh, Drew's here. He's here. Okay. Last Sorry. number, Drew, right? Yes, yes. Okay, no, last, last one, last one. Okay. <laughs> number three. Okay. Number three. Question number three. If you could remove the swimsuit competition from the Miss Universe pageant, would you and why or why not? I wouldn't. I wouldn't remove the swimsuit competition. It is just a fun moment where we can enjoy the colorfulness of the swimsuit. We can just have more fun. The music is it's more, um, you can move more, you can dance around. Uh, the public has fun also with, by watching us. So if it's my, my choice, I wouldn't remove it from the competition. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay, we already have four, but can I still ask you one more? Yes, of course. Okay, so I will pick the question. Okay. <laughs> so I don't have to do the sound effects. You have to do. <laughs> okay, question number seven. This this question was asked in Miss Universe two thousand seven. Okay. Social media has become a prominent factor in the way we perceive one another. Do you believe social media has had a positive or negative effect on the way we judge you? 
Well, social media, it is a great tool for us to just show what we want to show. It's like a portfolio. And we have to change the perspective of, of when we see these images, this, because they are pre-constructed images. There's a team behind every picture. There's a team behind every video. And there's a lot of like thought process through that. So it's kind of silly that we can we start comparing each other with a influencer or a social media celebrity. Uh, so I, I believe that the like I said, beauty runs far deeper that can meet the eye. What we have to focus is on being good human beings, being kind to each other, respect each other, love each other, and just encourage everyone to be real. The world needs you to be you. The world needs more uniqueness and authenticity. And well, social media, I think it is just such a small space for us to, to show how we really live. It's impossible to to put all our lives in just one post. Mm -hmm. okay, so that concludes. Yeah, I think she passed the <laughs> Q&A challenge with flying colors. So that concludes our Q&A challenge. So we're now on to the final segment of our show. Unfortunately, we've been I've been enjoying this uh, discussion yes, with you so far. So, so we go on here. Word. So now as a beauty queen, you are not just a face, but also an ambassador of your country. Yes. So how will you introduce Peru to your fellow contestants? Or how will you introduce the, per the Peru to your fellow contestants? Peru is such a magical, millionary, and beautiful country that it's a must that you should visit it. It's a must that you have to experience it that with your own eyes. You have to see that beautiful sky, that beautiful lake, that when you get there, you get this magical energy. You get recharged. So even when I'm Peruvian, I'm still surprised and I'm still in love every single time I go to a, to a new city. Every time I come back to the city, it's like, it's just like a, like a piece of the past, a piece of our traditions, our colors. Every single corner, you see Peru reflected. So, well, if you want to visit Peru, you're more than welcome to stay in my house. I have food. Oh, my God. <laughs> on the record. It's on and the I'm, record now. <laughs> like, oh, my, my Miss Universe my Miss, my Miss Universe sisters to come and visit me and try all the food that we have because that's another thing from Peru. You never mm. forget about the food. <laughs> it's uh, such no, a it's speaking part. of food. Sorry. Hmm? You can continue. No, what it's do speaking you of what? food? You're talking about okay. food, okay? So speaking of food, what Peruvian dish best describes your personality? <laughs> <laughs> I would say a causa because I'm friend of everyone. And oh. a causa, that's the way that we call, it's kind of like a slang, but it's the way that we call a uh, brother and, and friends, friends. It's like a causa. And that's why I say a causa because I'm a friend of everyone. It's a little joke. <laughs> <laughs> and also like, it is, you know what? It is based on, on potato and ají amarillo and lime so it is like a it's like it's a layer dish that you can eat it in uh, cold and it's served everywhere it's 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 really really good you should try it mm, you make me hungry now <laughs> i don't say that it's late here and i don't know where we're gonna get food <laughs> it's supposed to be lunch time now here it's 12 22 in noon. anyways okay. so I, I proceed now, Johnny. So what qualities do you feel that you have that would make you a good Miss Universe winner? Whenever I have to to go through difficult times, there was always like a deep strength on me that only God gave it to me. It's my faith. The way I see, I see life. 
the way I see life is like I see the world and I'm still not disappointed. I enjoy every single moment. I try, I believe in the, in the power of love and kindness. That's who I am. That's what I want to show the world. Wow. Okay, that's good. Now, we've seen you already in Miss Supranational 2019, and you really did so well. What else can we expect from Janik in Miss Universe? Well, you have to see me now. from <laughs> now. <laughs> Now we have to ruin the surprise. It's only like it's only going to be ten days of competition, so I don't want to spoil it. But of course, you you're going to see a uh, improved Janique, and like I said, a lot of things change in my life. My perspective is completely, completely different. I met so many people as well through those years. I have the the influence as well of, of, of people that, that they know exactly what to do, that they're good at their jobs and they support me all the way. So I I'm just waiting for the moment to to show all this hard work and and just get, do my best. I'm just hoping and looking forward to do my best and represent my, my beautiful Peru as as best as I can. Good. It's good to know. Drew, are you still there? <laughs> Drew's still there. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. So, okay. So now we're on to the pass or go question. Okay. So I think pass or go start. question is. Do we need to go we'll to the private the comment, chat? We'll type the question on the comment box on the private chat here. So I already typed it. So you have the option to just say yes or to pass. <laughs> Well, if it was for me, I will I will answer every single question, to be honest. But I will I will I will pass this one. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I it's, understand. So hard. it's so hard. It's a very difficult but, question. Yes. yes. It's like an honor to even thinking about that and, and, and to be considered even think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and they understand but maybe i'd be yeah. asking different one like uh, you've been communicating with girls right you have a group chat maybe you have a yeah. whatsapp so mostly what do you talk about in that kind of you know group chat the miss universe chat is so fun i love it because we all send each other stickers we send each other like live updates um this april full snowba did a i mean she got everyone everyone fooled because she had a picture that she was engaged and i was like oh my god and then i saw the chat and everyone was congratulating her so you know what i never i never get i mean i always know when april full is but I just lost track of time that I didn't even know that we were like the first day of the month. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, congratulations and everything. And then we started like, oh yeah, April Fool's joke. And I was like, oh. and not only me, she got all of us, all of us <laughs> believing that she was engaged. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, that was clever, Miss Canada. <laughs> She's so fun. <laughs> Okay. okay now um, you should invite nova you know one of these days drew yes yes yeah Phil. definitely uh, yes uh, so, we'll invite nova. Mm -hmm. so now this is uh the second to the last question jenny um okay. we, we will we will imagine that there is a time machine and you could go back in time and talk to your 12 year old self what will you tell her? Rather than talking to my 12 year old self, self, I will use the time machine to have the opportunity to talk to my grandpa again. Mm -hmm. That's that's the way I will I will use it. You know what? Like I just wish I spend more time with him. I just wish that that I I hug him. 
and kiss him and just laugh with him one more time and hear his voice. So what I will tell him is, Papito, te amo con todo mi corazón. We miss you so much. And I keep you every single day present in my life. And every single thing that I do is for you. For you. Mm, hugs from us here. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. It's okay. so hard. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. But actually, I was supposed to ask a question. Um, the way you... Uh, but I don't think I need to ask this question because you're still crying. <laughs> Drew, you continue, Drew. But I'm pretty sure that your grandfather is very proud of you for what you have accomplished, for what you have done. Yes, and sure. uh, I have, I have a special moment last, last week. I, I don't know. I, I have to, to find the strength to continue with all my activities. And I was supposed to, well, I, I crowned a regional queen. So when I was on the stage, like I say, I dedicate everything to him. He was never able to, to see me on the stage performing before. So when I came out of the stage, I look up and I was like, this is for you. And whenever I came out, I don't know, I just, who feel his presence. And in that moment, they played the song Beautiful from Bazzi, I believe. That is beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. That one. And ah, my heart was like, wow, you are with me. You are with me all the time. You know, Janik, we have the same situation because I grew up with my grandfather. So yeah, uh, actually the questions that that I was supposed to be asking you is what makes you cry. Uh, whenever I miss my, whenever you know, I remember my grandfather, I usually cry because I really, really love my grandfather, and I miss him so much. I grew up with my grandfather because I'm a broken family. My dad is, you know, but but I'm close with my dad. Mm, yeah. So you can understand me, how it yeah. is. It's yeah. So That's why tough. I feel like I also tear in the eye because I feel the same way with you. Mm -hmm. no. But I believe well, your grandfather will be proud for you. Well, thank you. Thank you. And I'm proud of you, too. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. But you know what? Uh, I mean, he's going to cry as well because I think he lost his father when he was so young. Oh, yes. I'm so yeah. sorry. It's okay. No, no. It's okay. No, uh, I, I mentioned earlier that it's going to be the second to the last question, but I, I have okay. a, another question for you since we're in this emotional state right now uh, before now yeah, before you fly to miami uh, to florida for miss universe what would be your message to your father my message to my country to your father uh, to my father yes yes oh, to my father to my it will be that thank you you know what? He told me that that when I went Miss Peru, he was like, when you were born and I saw you in my arms, I knew that you were going to be a beauty queen. I knew that you were going to be a queen for Peru. And, and I'm just so thankful for his support, for standing by my side, for giving me strength as well. Not only my, my dad, my mom as well. She is being a strong pillar for me and and we my family is really close to each other i'm the oldest of five siblings and mm -hmm. i'm so lucky to have their love to to have them to cheer me up and to live this with me all, all the way and this is i think well if if they start selling the tickets you know that this is going to be the first time my family is going to watch me competing ever wow they always saw me on 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 a, and just on tv or uh like youtube but they never saw me live so it's going to be really emotional for everyone and i i i do hope they they open the show to the public so your family oh, can yes, watch it 
I want to know. I want to get to, to get more information yeah. about it. Yes. If and not, finally, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> yes. And finally, Janik, fill in the blank. I am Janik Maceta from Peru, and I am black. Okay. I am Janique Maceta from Peru, and I am perfectly imperfect. <laughs> I, I love how you put it. Yeah, it's true, I love it. Yes, thank sir. you guys for having Once me. Again, so much thank fun. You, thank you, thank you. It was so much fun. And before we let you go, uh, I just want to ask for your quick message to all your fans out there. You can also speak in Spanish. Okay. Well, to all the my followers, to all the people that support me and believe in me since day one, I just want you to know that, that you mean so much to me, that I love you and, and I deeply appreciate all your caring and your kind words. Whenever I feel down or I feel like I cannot keep going, reading all your messages, reading all your, your support texts, they bring me and give me the energy to continue, to keep on pushing. So I will always gonna be grateful for all of you and I'm sending you tons of love, tons of hugs, and I'm always gonna be here for you. Thank you, Janik. You know, Thank we you. are so happy to have you. I'm so happy that I can get to talk to you and meet you guys. It was so nice. I have a great time. And I hope that we can repeat it maybe after the competition. Why not? Yes, promise <laughs> that if you will be winning Miss Universe, you let us in interview you again. <laughs> of, course, of course. But next time we have to invite also Bontan, Paui, all the people that were involved. Sure, one thing for sure. Paui is in, uh, in Egypt right now, and Bong, I don't think Bong wants you in public. <laughs> Bong is such a private person. Uh, no, but he's he's so kind, and he takes a lot of like good pictures as well. I, yeah. I'm lucky uh, that he was there, and I got to meet him. I got to meet Paui and Paui, I love you too. I know that he's having a great time in Egypt right now. The Miss Echo is coming up, so let's please <laughs> support Peru. <laughs> yeah, good luck yeah. to all the candidates. Are you guys gonna be in the Miss Universe? Um, I think Paul is going. Oh, yeah. Paul is <gasps> thinking about it. Wow. Oh. Yeah, probably maybe because, yeah, I think Paul can make it. Hopefully. Yeah. If it is open for public. Okay. <laughs> All right. So then I will, I will see one of you guys there then. <laughs> okay. And we wish you good luck, Jenny. Thank and, you. you. Know, Thank you for uh, for your uh, national directors for allowing us to have you here to the organizations of Miss Universe Peru. Thank you so much, guys. To all Hi. Peru, to all the uh, to all people watching from Peru. Thank you so much, guys. Thank okay. you. And once again, once again, thank you, Jenny. And you can have your beauty rest now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Drew. It's so nice to see you again, and thank you so yes. much. So nice everything. to see you again. Bye, Drew. Why we can you have a selfie first, Drew. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll take a right. screenshot. Fix my hair. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are watching right now. Sorry, guys. I <laughs> Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, there. Bye. Thank Once you. again, thank you, Jenny. Bye. Thank you, Jenny. Bye. Bye. Good luck, Jenny. I have so much fun. There you go. Thank you so much for another episode and happy Easter once again. And happy Easter once again. Now, if you want to watch our previous episode, you can go to our Facebook page and YouTube channel. You can also listen to our podcast on anchor.fm and Spotify. See you all again next time, guys. Good night to all Peru. And once again, happy Easter Sunday.
Bye Thank guys. you. Bye. Bye. What the hell? Like, it's me. I say, oh my god. They was like, holy, holy deep. What's this going on? Because even now, I, I, I get like speechless. Why is it important for a to have a good time? You do not know how to speak your mind. You're not going to give your organization much credibility for what you're really fighting for. Beauty queen doesn't mean perfection. Now I feel embarrassed to say this, but I'm going to do it because that's how I am. So. <laughs> that's good, that's good. My wave became, became the Miss International wave. Right, Steven? I have become a patent. Ito naman yung bumabasa. Oh my God. My travels. I love my travels. I would just want it to be that I gave something back that made them happy. Money or love? Love.